Okay, so this is going to be my first part of a few part series on Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Just a basic walkthrough of how to play the game really. And uh, yeah, I'll maybe do a bit of commentary throughout. And yeah, just enjoy. So I've been playing this for a wee while just to sort of burn myself back into it. I haven't played this since I was a kid. I am primarily going to play as either Captain America, Wolverine, or Deadpool. Just for them being favorite characters of mine. Yeah, that's a dickhead. So this is just a bog standard tutorial, and to be honest, I say tutorial, but it's not really a tutorial, it's just go in, hit things, and move on. That's more or less where this whole game's played really, isn't it?
Looks like I hit the jackpot! I'm working for the biggest group of villains this world has ever known. The masters of evil! <laughs> That's the best part of all. We're led by the man himself. Dr. Doom. If you only knew. Because Doom's got a plan that's gonna shake the heavens. You wanna get tough, punk? Good. Because so do I. Yeah, a lot of these these villains and stuff. I mean, they're all very bog standard boss fights. They're not that hard to beat. Then again, says me, I'm probably gonna end up dying quite a lot during this uh, walkthrough. So, you know, unfortunately, these things happen. Come on. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna take my time for cutscenes and, and stuff like that, try and get a good idea of what the story is, because the story in this is pretty few and far between if um if you don't know it. so quickly. The Helicarrier is under attack by a group of supervillains called the Masters of Evil. And to make matters worse, they're led by Victor Von Doom. My thoughts exactly. It's not important. I told you, it's not important. Colonel Fury, this is the Black Widow. The Masters of Evil have activated an old cycle of our superior missiles. I need help if they are to be stopped. That was on its way, Black Widow. Fury out. Team. Just one of those missiles could level an entire city. Failure is not an option. You have to get to the launch bay and stop them. Oh, okay. The last time I was here, I just sort of ran right here anyway, just to see if there was any collectibles. Because as I say, this game was out in 2003. Um... It's now 2021. I haven't played this game since about maybe 2005, 2006. Ooh, change team. And, uh, yeah, so I can't remember exactly where everything is. But I know where most things are. Yeah. Unfortunately for most people, this is my usual team. Um, Later on, I will have like team settings and stuff, and go through different rosters, and probably try and unlock more, um, more trophies and, and costumes and stuff for the other characters, and try and level everything up as mostly as possible. Um, We're on the clock, people. Let's roll. I always hated that. But we'll see how much I can get done with. As I go, we will go this way for starters. Give up. 
Okay. So, the puzzles in this game, as well, aren't incredibly difficult. It's usually um, just a simple matter of move this, move this, move this. Uh, especially whenever you get to the later stages of the game, like it, it is very move this, move this, move this, because there's usually more than one. Or it's go here and kill, kill things. Anyway, that, that's just not believable. to go. Yeah, I can't really stress enough how like actually useful those those shitty coins and stuff are in this game because it's um it's like a loot based system but it's like a very early loot based system. So, while you get different costumes in this game, you'll get um, you'll get different reward. Like different costumes will be better at different things. So for Thor, his classic costume is better at, at elemental than his ultimate costume, which is better at, at hammer. I did destroy both console asshole. Do you know what, I feel like this guy shouting at me would be better than Samuel Jackson shouting at me. Because at least he's not going to call me a motherfucker. And you have five minutes. Well, 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 aren't you just an impressive bunch of heroes? Too bad my good buddies Daredevil and Elektra weren't with you. I'm convinced that's Christian Slater. You wouldn't be trying to stop the nuclear missile I just launched, would you? 
Oh shit. Hey, if the boss wants me to launch a missile at a heavily populated city, I'll do it. I don't get paid to ask questions. Sorry, I can't. And even if I did step aside, there's nothing you could do. I've got the only access card to the navigation computer. I choose or else. Yeah, there's a good chance I'm gonna die during this. This is the last time I played there recently, um, a couple of days ago. Uh, I got my ass out of the me by Bullseye, basically the first real boss of the game. Four minutes to spare. So the other good thing about this game is uh, the special dialogue. Special dialogue is always fun. That was my fault, I'm afraid. Fortunately, I was not harmed. Black Widow, I specifically ordered you not to engage the enemy. I, I am sorry, sir. It was unavoidable. Very well. At least you're safe. Dean, you have to stop the enemy from destroying the engine. If they're successful, the helicarrier is finished. I'm going to use Dirt uh, or Dirt up from Deadpool for this next uh, little bit. And you'll see why in a minute. I did that the wrong way around. So the reason I was going to use Deadpool was because uh, there's been a special dialogue and he takes, it takes the piss out of this guy and just says, look, you're the one who was stupid enough to get yourself trapped in your... Uh... Thanks for setting us free. Being trapped in our own rooms was kind of an embarrassing situation. There you go. Good luck. Be careful. It's not of any use. It's not of any use. Oh, shut I also like using Deadpool because of uh, his teleportation. Um, you will notice as I play through this that when I get bored or lazy, I tend to do that. Kiss me one. And I can't see. I have to say, the remasters they did for this for PS4 are surprisingly good. I don't remember the game looking as decent as it does now. Not for fuck's sake. I 
I am fantastic and I know. Okay, now that's just rude. Also, the AI in this game completely, completely sucks. So there are times you'll be getting your ass handed to you by a group of uh, robots or whatever, and your team just stands there and looks at you. Winter Soldier, give up! I'm here to stop you from destroying the Helicarrier engines. Captain America, can't say it's good to see you again. You have dealt with this fool before? Oh yeah. Cap and I go way back, don't we, buddy? Winter Soldier, please. Stop this before the Helicarrier is destroyed. Thousands of lives will be lost. Sorry, no can do. I've got my orders. You of all people understand that, don't you? Orders have always been so important to you. I'll fight you if I have to. Then what are you waiting for? Let's see what you got. <laughs> So, as I say, this game this game isn't extremely challenging, but it is um there are times where it does get a bit difficult, there is a bit of a spike in it sometimes. I told you they'd follow. They're as predictable as the sunrise. Come then, humans. Follow us a bit further. <laughs> Sorry. Drink coffee. Okay, so as we seen earlier, there's a little red line, and I'm not stupid enough to walk into it, but my teammates are. Oh no, where'd they go? You're up here. Now you've had it. Or have I? Yes. Let us see how you fare against this force. Attack! And something tells me. It's going to be the same enemies that I've been battling so far. <laughs> What's up? It is. There's a little thingy dude up. is an evade in this game, but I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not very good at using it. Yeah. 
And again, back to my whole thing of how do you alter, genetically alter a robot. Okay, I love how I killed that enemy and Thor levels up. Side post thing. Anyone who's played this game knows that Atlantis is in this game. Okay, I lifted a thing. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead some more. Convenient teleporter. In a matter of moments, the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then we shall fire it into the engine. Right. Don't you understand? You can't defeat the masters of evil. We're just too powerful. Abandon shit while you still can. He had a plan that will give us all enough power to live like kings for an eternity. Quiet, Chen. You've already said too much. Ah, it does not matter. They will not live to tell anyone. Why don't we make sure of that? Uh, uh, right. So. I don't really know who the best one to take out first is. I'm taking a Winter Soldier anyway because, uh. Yeah, see, that's the thing. He does this, and then you can't hit him for a couple of seconds, really. Yeah, so it's all well and good having um, a team of heroes and all that, but the weapons in this game are just OP. You know, there, there, there's no denying that you lift a, a sword or a, well, anything really, and yeah, you're, you're just going to one-shot everything. I think I died during this one as well. Oh yeah, there are cheats for this game, but I don't see me using them for a while. Um, Maybe one, oh, if I complete this and do a bit more, then yeah, maybe I'll use some cheats and just for stupid things like God Mode and you know, um, the level of characters and show off, uh, oh yeah, um, show off costumes and stuff like that, but honestly, I'm still trying to get trophies, so. As soon as you use cheats, the trophies are disabled, and there's no point to that stage. So you'll see, like, I'll not get any trophies for anything that I'm doing right now. Um, that's because I've already played through a good bit of this. Stay down. 
I love her whenever there's only one en enemy on screen, it literally just turns into a bully circle. You know, everyone just gangs up on this one enemy, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't stand a chance, but still, it's quite fun to watch. These ones annoy me, and especially you'll notice whenever I get the Mandarin, how much I'm gonna hate it. He's going to do this, piss off, and I'm going to go up here and use this gun and shoot him out of the sky. I think I'm going to use it. Yeah, time it right. Actually, shoot the son of a bitch. Yeah. Just about normal where it'll be. There we go. And then we do what all good superheroes do. Just wheel on the sun bitch. Oh shit. Yeah, your team will not help you here. You have to do it yourself, so I would actually recommend using Deadpool or Wolverine because they've got healing factors and whatnot. The only thing is, the team will keep the Ultron bots off your ass, which is nice of them. Alright, where are you coming from, asshole? Got him. Changed the Captain America because he said his health was low. And I'd really like to go through this without any of my my team dying. Yeah, I'm really making this look easier than it is. Don't know how I did that, but I just spawned but right behind him. I did not do that on purpose. Says you.
Hello team, welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on earth. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. We're now a team? Yes. I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the masters of evil. The helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, Tony's willing to let us stay here for the duration. That's all the facilities will require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I've called a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge of equipment. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We've got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to White Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my coin jets. Speaking of that, what is our next mission, Colonel? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. But there was something questionable in his message. Do you think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, talk to the Black Widow. Okay, so this will probably be a nice ending point for this. Um, so yeah, that's the first part of this Marvel Ultimate Alliance, number one. And we'll see how long this goes.